Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron and welcome back to the May 2024 Cops and Robbers Challenge for the Diecast and Modelers community. And today I have selected a Matchbox by Lesney, number 55 or number 73, Mercury, police or fire chief's car. I guess it depends on what they decided to paint it that day. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be our little build for this challenge. And so let's uh, go ahead and get this thing blown apart so we can take a look at the pieces and parts and see what we can do for this little Mercury police or fire chief's car. So everybody, stick around. Well, all right, we got our little number 555 or 73 Mercury matchbox all drilled and apart. It, uh, it's had a little play wear, got a little something on the top there. I don't know what that is, but uh, the it had two, two posts, which I've drilled and tapped for 256 screws. And <clears throat> Matchbox, did really, they really didn't want that window unit to come out. Those were some heavy-duty brads on those, uh, on those posts. But we got them out successfully. Nice little casting. And it's going to clean up really nice, I think. There's our little beacon. Going to make sure we don't lose that. And also our window unit here. Got a little crack in the windshield, but you know, it is what it is. And there's a little bit of a crack right in the middle there. <clears throat> but we'll clean it up and see if we can't bring it back. And our interior complete with two police officers sitting there ready to go out on parole. Parole? <laughs> Patrol? Man, gotta drink, gotta get some new coffee. <laughs> And our base, metal base, and this had the uh, matchbox suspension, and uh, you lean it a little bit, and the wheels will steer. So that 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 was a better innovation than the little knob on the side, like the Mustang. But uh, it's a little bent, a little warped, but I think we'll have be all right with that. A little bit of movement in it for the suspension in it, and our wheels, which are not in terrible shape. Uh, they are all here, so we'll get those cleaned up and re-chromed, and we'll get our axles all cleaned up and re or cleaned up anyway, and put this thing back together to be able to put it back together. Well, that is all of the pieces and parts, so let's get that casting in the stripper, get that base cleaned up, get the wheels cleaned up. We'll just get this build going. Everybody? Stay tuned.
All right, before we get to the reveal, here's a quick look back at where we started. This is the Matchbox by Lesney, number 55 or number 73 Mercury Police or Fire Chief's car. So let's uh, go ahead and get over to the reveal and just see how this little car came out and what I was able to do with it. Everybody, stick around. Well, all right, we have completed our Matchbox by Lesney, number 55 or number 73, Mercury. And we've done this up as a police car, which was one of the options. They also had a fire chief car you could uh, acquire this with <laughs> in that same livery. But uh, this was a fun little project. This, this car had its problems. There's a, a crack in the windshield, but we're going to ignore that. We cleaned everything up as best we could. Shot it with a beautiful color shot marsh, uh, gloss marshmallow, which is a gloss white. We re, uh, renewed the wheels, polished the base or clean the base up. I really didn't polish it. I just used a, not a brass uh, wire wheel and that brought it up really nice. We did polish out the beacon and it looks wonderful. And then to top it off, we uh, cleaned the interior and also I created a set of original style decals, which really just topped it off and completed the project. Well, this is for the diecast and modelers community, uh, May 2024 cops and robbers, uh, cops and robbers challenge, and I voted for the cops. <laughs> As a devoted Batman fan, I have to be all about uh, law or uh, truth and justice. So here it is. Anyway, be sure you go out and check out all the other builders that participated in this build for the diecast and modelers community and give them a like, give them a share, give them a sub if you haven't already. There's a lot of great builders out there that participate in these challenges. And uh, I hope you like this video. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not currently a subscriber, Please do and ring the bell so you'll be notified of future builds when they're available and be sure you share with your friends. Well, I would like to thank you all once again for watching this video and I hope, again, hope you like it. But uh, got more coming, more challenges, more day or weekly builds and restorations. So I will see you in the next.